I'm Kevin Pang. I'm Jeffrey Pang. Did you know the most important part of any video on the internet are the first 10 seconds? So how do we get people's attention? Free works. Crispy orange beef. Just go ahead and smash the like button right now. Orange beef. I think a lot of people think it's a Chinese American invention, but it's actually a dish that originated from Hunan, right? Yes, it's Chan Pi Niu, which means it's old skin beef. Old skin beef. What, what does old skin mean? Old skin is a dry tangerine peel. Dried tangerine peel. Now you can find this in Chinatown. It can get pretty expensive. You can order it online if you like, but for our purposes, an orange is gonna work just fine. So you can use a vegetable peeler if you like, but I think it's just gonna be easier if you use a knife. And notice too, normally with orange peel, we don't like to include the pith, the, the white part, but you are including the white part, right? Oh yes, because the white part have a, a little bit bitter flavor. And the bitter flavor is good for this dish, right? Oh yes, that's right. Once we have the peel, we're gonna slice it thin, and we're gonna need about a quarter cup of it. That's about 10 pieces of peel altogether. You can usually get that with just one orange, but we are gonna need the juice from two oranges, so uh, let's juice these. Okay. Show me how to do it. All right. Put that like that. Now, can I use store-bought orange juice for this? No, 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 we need to use a fresh one. Just fresh? Yes. Okay, it's gonna make a difference in the taste? Oh, well, of course. All right. And we're gonna need about a quarter cup of fresh orange juice for this recipe. Okay. Great, we've got our peel, we've got our orange juice. Now let's get to the beef. You can't have crispy orange beef without the beef. So let's talk about the most important part about this recipe. We're using flap meat today, yes, flap meat. Uh, you can use a cut like flank steak, but we want a cheap cut of meat that's super beefy and super tender. So this is flap meat here. It's gonna come in a long piece. And what we're gonna do is we're going to cut it first with the grain, and then we're gonna cut it against the grain. So what we're looking for is about um, like two and a half inch slices, like maybe about like right here? Yes. Okay, great. So I'm gonna cut it again. Look for the grain, it's running this way. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna cut it like that. And then we're gonna cut it like this. You can see that we did this the right way because of the streaks running across the meat here. All right, once we have these pieces here, we're gonna cut it into about half inch pieces. So, is this thick enough? Yes, it's perfect. Oh, great, okay. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for pieces that are like that. This is gonna be enough surface area to uh, get nice and crispy, okay? And we're just gonna do this until we go through all the beef. All right, the beef is all cut up and we're gonna marinate this beef. And for the batter, we're gonna use cornstarch. Yes. The Chinese really like using cornstarch, right? Yes, because the cornstarch can show the flavor and also make the meat more crispy and tender. So we're gonna marinate this now and we're gonna start with some light soy sauce. And then we're gonna toss this lightly. Mm -hmm. And now we add the cornstarch, right? Okay. With cornstarch, you're gonna get a silkier sheen and just toss everything together? Yes. Great. Is this looking good? I use mean- Use your finger. Use my fingers? Yeah. Okay, all right, like, like this here. Uh, okay, let me do it, let me do it. You wanna do it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like this. Like really getting into it? Yeah, but you need to wash your hand first. Okay, very important. <laughs> Hygiene is important. <laughs> okay, like this. And you want all the pieces to be coated with the cornstarch like that, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. Good job? Good job. All right. Okay, this next part is a really important step. We're gonna put this in the freezer with the marinade and the cornstarch on. And we're gonna put the beef here in a single layer. And the whole point of this is when we put this in the freezer, we don't want it to get completely frozen. It just goes in the freezer for about 45 minutes. We want it to start to get a little bit cold and crispy. It removes the moisture. Moisture is the enemy 
of crispiness when it comes mm -hmm. to deep frying. Now it's time to put together the sauce. Dad, can you add everything into the bowl, please? Mm -hmm. So we've got our freshly squeezed orange juice from earlier. We've got sugar. We've got Shaosheng wine, which you're gonna find in a lot of Chinese recipes. Mm -hmm. We've got rice vinegar, water. We have sesame oil. Be sure to use the toasted sesame oil. And finally, we've got light soy sauce and we have dark soy sauce. Now, I've always wondered, what is the difference between light soy sauce and dark soy sauce? When you think about a supermarket soy sauce, usually that is a light soy sauce. It's more saltier, it's more, it's more for seasoning. The dark soy sauce is more sweet and thicker and more for coloring. I see. So dark soy sauce, it's aged a little bit longer and they add bead molasses and it almost has this caramel hue to it. Mm -hmm. Now in the original recipe, it calls for molasses, but this was at a time when dark soy sauce wasn't as readily available. You can find dark soy sauce in any Chinatown supermarket now. And so we added dark soy sauce in this case. We also add a little bit of water and sugar just to make up the difference. Sauce is done, it's time to get cooking. Now comes the fun part. We're gonna put the crispy into crispy orange beef. This has been in the freezer for about 45 minutes. This is exactly what we're looking for. Notice that we had put the beef on a wire rack and so the air has been able to circulate all around the beef. This is nice and dry. It's not frozen, it's just a little bit crispy and cold and uh, this is gonna be ready for frying. We've got a Dutch oven here. We have three cups of vegetable oils. This has been heating at 375 degrees. Mm -hmm. We also have a second baking rack. It's lined with paper towel. That's gonna catch all the beef after it comes out of the deep fryer. Now, Dad, should I put all this beef in here all at once? I will only put one third of the beef, you know, because I don't want to cool down, you know, the oil. I see. So you don't want the oil temperature to get yes. too cold all at once, and we yeah. want it to keep it nice and crispy, and loose, and so right. it also doesn't clump up together, right? Yeah, but one third would be better. Great, so let's fry this in three batches. All right, this oil is at temperature, it's at 375 degrees. Did you have these when you were young? No, my mother usually just use her hand and smell the oil, and she would know the temperature. Really? Yes. Wow, that's really, she's really intuitive like that. <laughs> Your grandma. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, this is good now. We're gonna put the beef in here. Uh, we're gonna be safe. We're gonna use tongs. I'm just gonna let yeah. these fry. Does this look to, good? You need to stir, make sure they're not stuck together. You don't want them clumping together, right? Yes. I see. Does this look done right here? Yeah. yeah, these are cut so thinly that uh, it only takes about 90 seconds for it to get nice and crispy on the outside. Let's temp this again. Let's make sure this gets back to 375. Again, the oil temperature is gonna drop down every time you cook this, so you really wanna make sure you bring this right back up to 375. So when you were a kid, did you eat a lot of fried foods? Uh, no, not really, because the oil is very expensive. Oil is expensive, okay. So only for special occasions. Yes. Like Ch when? Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year. Yeah. Well, you can make this any day of the year, not just New Year time. Yes, right now. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm gonna put this on the rack here to start drying it off. Mm -hmm. Now that this beef is all fried, don't toss away the oil yet. We're gonna use this for our next step as we put the entire dish together. Yeah, because the oil is so expensive. Now it's time to put everything together. We've got a wok here with two tablespoons of the frying oil that we just had. Don't have a wok, just use a 12 inch skillet. That's perfectly fine. So dad, can you put the orange peel and the jalapenos in there first? Okay, sure. We also have a bit of sliced jalapeno to add a bit of heat. So we've got the wok over a medium high heat. So how long would this take here? It's about 90 seconds. You just want the orange peel to start to get a little bit of golden brown, right? Oh, yes, of course. Okay. Does this look ready to you? Oh, yes. Okay, now we're gonna add ginger. Yes. We have minced garlic. And we have chili flakes. 
And this will take about 45 seconds. You want the garlic to start get a little bit brown. Mm -hmm. Now this looks ready. We're gonna put in the sauce that we have earlier. Okay. Wow. Smell it? It smells very orangey, right? Yes, oh, really orange. Yeah. Okay. So now it's been about 45 seconds. The sauce is starting to thicken up a little bit and we're gonna add the hot, crispy beef in here. Okay. We're gonna add all of it here. And this should not take very long, right? Yes, everything's cooked already. Yeah, we're really just letting the sauce shellac over the beef. And it should take no more than about 45 seconds. Okay. And to that, we're gonna add our scallions as well. Yes. I think we're done. Yeah, see the beef is coated by the sauce. Perfect. <laughs> How does this look? It's beautiful. See, it's shiny. Beef is coated by the sauce. And it's still crispy. Like the candies. Oh, it's like a candy, okay. <laughs> and there you go, folks. Crispy orange beef. It smells amazing. Should we eat? Yes, sure. Okay, let's do don't, it. This time, don't, don't use your hand, okay? Use a chopstick. Okay. <laughs> It smells incredible. You can smell the citrus from the orange and it's beefy. Uh, it smells like, uh, it smells like home. Go ahead and try it. Okay. Mmm. How's it taste? Very juicy, very tender. Yeah. And a lot of the orange flavor. Yeah, a lot of orange flavored. Not too sweet, you get a little bit of that bitterness as well too, mm -hmm. and still retains that crispiness as well. So really, really, really tasty. Mm -hmm. It's perfect to eat with white rice. Did I used to eat a lot of beef when I grew up? Well, I think you eat more chicken too. I eat more chicken. Chicken. Really? Yeah. I remember I like chicken, yeah. Do you know you have a nickname? I had a nickname? Yeah. It's called Gai Wong Zhong in Chinese. That means you are chicken king. Chicken king? Yes. Chicken King, really? Yeah. I don't remember this. Well, maybe now you can call me Orange Beef King. Orange Beef King. I like okay. that a lot better. All right. So which do you like better? Orange chicken, orange beef, or orange something else? Tell us in the comments below. And if you want this recipe, go to americastestkitchen.com. Please like this video and subscribe. <laughs>